What's going on everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ricky Somborn and today we're going to learn how to play Cherry by Harry Styles on the good old uke. <laughs> As always with every ukulele tutorial, I will include a skip to section right here where you can skip to either the chords or the strumming pattern if you don't want to sit through an entire 10 minute video. I totally get it, I totally understand. But if you did watch the entire video, I love you forever. I also want to remind you that the full play along for this song is now also live on YouTube. So make sure to check the link in the description or to check the top of the comments. I'll leave a link for that full play along. That play along consists of the lyrics and chords on screen while I strum and sing the entire song. So it's a super easy play along for you. Also, as always, the entire chord sheet will be in the description of this video. That basically consists of the lyrics and the chord right above the words, so you know exactly when to change chords. So that is my gift to you. But with all that said and done, let's go ahead and learn the chords that we need for this song coming up next. All right, so let's learn these chords. As always, I will have a visual representation of where you need to put your fingers on the uke for each chord. I feel like that helps a lot when you can visually see and then also have me talk you through it. So with that being said, let's talk about the first chord, which is going to be the A minor chord. And how we're gonna play this one is, you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place your middle finger on the fourth string, which is the top string. So fourth string, second fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the B minor chord and how we're gonna play this one is, you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place your pointer finger over all four strings on the second fret. And then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it on the fourth string, fourth fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the C chord and how we're gonna play this one is, you're gonna take your ring finger and you're gonna place your ring finger on the bottom string, which is the first string. So it's going to be first string, third fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the D chord and how I play this one is, I take my pointer finger and I go over the top two strings, which is the fourth and third string on the second fret. And then I take my middle finger and I place it on the second string, second fret, and it should sound like this. Perfect. The next chord that we need is the E minor chord and how I always say it looks like a staircase going down. How we're gonna play this one is, you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place your pointer finger on the bottom string, which is the first string. First string, second fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place your middle finger on the second string, third fret. And finally, you're gonna take your ring finger and place it on the third string, fourth fret. And it should sound like this. And the last but definitely not least is the G chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place your pointer finger on the third string, second fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it on the first string, second fret. And finally, you're gonna take your ring finger and place it on the second string, third fret. And it should sound like this. Amazing. So those are all the chords that we need for this song. If you do need a little bit more extra time, make sure to press the pause button right now, rewind to whatever section or chord that you need a little bit more time on, and once the chords sound crisp and clear, press play, and now let's talk about the strumming that we're gonna use for this song coming up next. All right, so we just learned the chords. Now let's talk about how we're gonna play the song with the strumming. I'm gonna teach you two different ways. The first way is gonna be for the true beginner who's like Ricky. I just picked up this uke a week ago, yesterday, an hour ago. Please, I don't wanna add any kind of strumming patterns into the playing right now. I love Harry Styles, I love this song. I just wanna get through it. Don't worry, I'll give you one way that's gonna be extra, extra simple. So that way is just going to be with a down strum. So whenever you see a chord change, just strum down. So you can go from G to E minor to C. 
So again, the entire chord sheet will be available in the description below. You can copy and paste it, save it on your laptop, phone, computer, wherever you save things. And again, that's the full lyrics with the chords right above the words. So whenever you see a chord change, just strum down. And again, the full play along will also be available uh, on my channel. Links everywhere in the description and top of the comments. So definitely go check that out if you want to. But let's talk about the second way that we can play this song coming up next. All right, the second way that we can play this song is with an actual strumming pattern and actually how I played it in the full play along. Again, everything will be linked below. But let's talk about the strumming pattern that we're going to use, which is going to be the down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So I have the G chord down, and again, it's going to be down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So let's do that together in three, two, one, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So you're gonna do that strumming pattern a different times for different chords. So let's go through that as well. I'll put everything on screen right now. So let's talk about the G chord. So the G chord, you're gonna play that strumming pattern four times. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four. And then it's gonna to go to E minor and that's gonna, E minor is gonna get two strumming patterns. So it's gonna go like this, one, It's gonna go C, which is gonna get one strumming pattern, one, and then D, which is gonna get one strumming pattern. So the entire song pretty much goes uh, the the chord progression of G, E minor, C, D. So if we add the full strumming pattern for all four chords, it'll sound like this. So again, that's gonna go throughout the entire song, but there's a section where you're just gonna do down strums, which is like, does he take you walking around his parents' gallery? So you're just gonna strum down, and again, the entire chord sheet is in the description below, so it's just gonna go D, and then C, B minor, and then A minor. So again, it goes, does he take you walking around his parents gallery? And that's going to be strumming pattern and then you go back into the G. And then you just do that strumming pattern again, what's on screen right now. G gets four, E minor gets two, C and D get one strumming pattern. And that is going to continue throughout the entire song. Again, everything will be in the description, so make sure to definitely go check that out. Copy and paste it, keep it for yourself. But that is how you play the song with the strumming pattern. And again, we talked about the chords. We talked about the different ways you can play the song with the down strum and with the actual strumming pattern. So that is it. Congratulations, you now know how to play Cherry by Harry Styles on the good old Uke. As always, if you did like this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below and the bell notification to be notified every single time I upload a video right here on YouTube. Also, I do wanna give a huge thank you and shout out to you for clicking on this video and watching these videos. I can't thank you enough. All the support this past year has been absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for clicking. I know there's 26 gajillion, billion, trillion videos that you can watch on YouTube, but you decided to click on this all video. So again, thank you so much for all the support. We're about to hit 50,000 subscribers soon. So thank you again, that is such a big number. I can't even, like, if, what? Also, if you're anything like me when you're watching a ukulele video, you're like, dude, what uke are you playing? Give me more details. I need to know right now. I got you. This is a concert size Enya ukulele. The model number is EUC25D. The one thing that really caught my eye when I was looking at this uke was the color. Look at it. I mean, come on. It's beautiful and it plays absolutely amazing. The strings that came with it are actually really amazing. You know me, if you've watched any of my videos, I love to switch them out to D'Addario strings, but this is one of the few that I left the strings on that it came with. And honestly, I 
think it sounds amazing. If you do want to get this uke and be uke twins with me, I will leave a link in the description below where you can get this on Amazon. Right now, as I'm recording this, it is $75 for a concert size uke, and you get a padded gig bag, you get a capo, a tuner, a shaker, extra strings, you get all this stuff with this obviously amazing, beautiful concert size uke. And again, it's only $75, so it's a great beginner ukulele kit. So if you do wanna get this, link will be in the description, or if you wanna get it for somebody for Christmas, or like, hey, play me a song, fool. Uh, I don't know why you call them fool, but you can have them play this and it's super easy. Yes, I kissed my uke, is that weird? I don't know. And finally, we do have merch. If you do want to support this channel, link will be in the description below. I'm currently wearing the official Uke Fam hoodie, which is our logo for our, this channel. If you do want to support, again, everything will be in the description below. Also, we recently launched the Potato Squad merch, which is a fun little potato playing a Uke, wearing the official Uke Fam hat, which is like Inception. So if you do want to get any of those collections, again, link will be in the description below. It's definitely a good holiday gift if you want to give it to a friend or give it to yourself. You never know. Link will be in the description below. Also, if you do get any of the merch or if you play any of the songs that you learn from this channel, make sure to tag me on Instagram. It's just at Ricky Somborn. We've reached over 56,000 Instagram family members, so I can't thank you enough for that. If you've joined Instagram, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but if you join Instagram, make sure to follow me and send me a DM on the IG. Again, it's just at Ricky Somborn. I always love hearing from you. Let me know what video you came from, from YouTube. Uh, or how you found me on Instagram. I love to know these things. And if you have any song recommendations or you uh, questions, concerns, you wanna know whatever, like what is, why is the color of the sky blue? I don't know. Let's find that out together. Send me a DM, let me know. Hmm, weird stuff, but I'm always open to DMs. And also leave some comments below in this video. I always love reading your comments because honestly, I don't get that many. So you have a very great chance of me answering in the comments section below or send me a DM, follow me on Instagram and all that good stuff. But with all that said and done, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I don't know what that was, it was a high five, I guess. Uh, but thank you so much for watching this video. I truly can't thank you enough for spending these 10, 15 minutes with me. I love you. I hate to leave you, but I'll see you in my next video. Bye.